Hello, welcome to my side of YouTube where for the past year and a few months I've been posting videos on how I take care of my hair. I've been filming a few videos but I've been reluctant to post them because I felt that I needed to do a one year review of my hair, go through everything that I've been doing in the past year. So basically the things that I've posted on my YouTube channel and see what I've kept the same, see what I've changed, because life is certainly a lot different now than it was when I started the YouTube channel. So firstly, I started last year when we were in lockdown and I had a lot of time on my hands where I could make all these intricate recipes, you know, just do the most, right? But I don't really have that time now because I've gone back to work. I certainly don't have the same amount of time that I did when I first started posting videos on YouTube. So using Ayurveda has been something that I've been doing for a very long time, but I've added a lot more things to my Ayurvedic hair care than like last year than I have ever before. So I'm sort of going to go through all of my past recipes, how I've changed them, if I change them, and then go through what has stayed exactly the same. And then just guess do a hair update, how my hair is doing now versus when I first started my YouTube channel. So firstly, I'm going to say that my hair is definitely longer now, which means that in the past year, I've managed to retain some length and that's what you want, right? So um, firstly, if you're hearing about Ayurveda for the first time, I'm going to try and simplify it as best as possible. So Ayurveda is sort of a, a like an ancient healing system, a holistic healing system that's said to originate in India. So it encompasses a lot of what you put in your body to kind of have your mind, body and spirit aligned through what you put inside of your body. But it also encompasses external things like oiling. That's how it sort of moves from just what you eat to hair care. So all my Ayurvedic hair care is purely topical. Things that I apply on my scalp, on my hair. I don't really take, you know, any of the herbs that I have internally. Yeah. I feel like you really need to do your research if you're going to start using herbs and things for healing purposes internally. Because yes, it's natural, but then some things do sort of mess with your hormonal balances. And so you need to do your research before you go down that route. So purely from a hair stand standpoint, I use things like oiling, oiling my hair, oiling my scalp. I make oils using the Ayurvedic herbs. So I just infuse my favorite oils with the Ayurvedic herbs and then put that on my hair, put that on my scalp. Or I use the herbs in my DIY recipes, which I have on my channel. So if you want to take a look around, things that I've kept constant in my routine. I'm still using my African Black Soap Shampoo. I use that almost every single week. Yeah, unless I run out of African Black Soap and... I can't just like go out and buy it now or I'm still waiting for it to come because sometimes I'm like it takes me a while to sort of keep track of what I still have what I don't have and then things run out and so then I'll go to my store bought shampoos but then most of the time I'm using my African black soap shampoo I feel like my hair really likes that because it's clarifying and for me I need a clarifying shampoo because I use oils on my hair i use very heavy oils if you've seen how i moisturize my hair i'll link that um video above then you'll know that i use a normal oil like olive oil and then i'll mix it with castor oil which is very thick so i need to have all of those oils cleansed out of my hair thoroughly so one thing that i've sort of dropped but it's not because it doesn't work it's just because i gave away my blender <laughs> so i kind of it's harder to make it because I have the seeds. It's fenugreek. Yeah, fenugreek. My fenugreek seeds. I have seeds. I don't have the powder. And I have not been able to find the powder in the Ayurvedic, on, in the online shops that I buy my Ayurvedic herbs from. So, you know, if you see the recipe again, you'll see that I 
soak my seeds, put them in a blender, and then um, sort of use that lovely paste on my hair. But I can't do that without a blender unless I have the powder. So I do still use fenugreek seeds, but I just use them differently. It's not in a mask anymore. I use it as a hair rinse. So I'll put the seeds in water and then I'll let them soak overnight. And then I take the water, I strain out the, seed, the, the seeds, then I take the water. And then after washing my hair, before deep conditioning my hair, I'll rinse. And then I'll massage my scalp with the rinse in my hair. And then I'll put in my deep conditioner. And then rinse all of that off, right? So I do still use fenugreek because it's great for the health of your scalp, but I just don't use it in a mask anymore. So the next thing would be my uh, aloe vera leaf pre -poo. So I, I had a lot of leaves last year that I received from a friend. And then I have a tree. I have a little uh, aloe vera plant in the house uh, I'm sort of I wasn't ready to harvest that yet right I wasn't ready to harvest it so I haven't been taking leaves from it so my pre poo is something completely different now and I'll do a video on that so yes I still like aloe vera it's just that I've run out basically or oh, I have I have two plants I'm just not ready to harvest from those two plants plants so the one that I've had for a while now. I've had it for more than two years. I'll probably be ready to harvest from it this year, which I'm very excited about. But also I can't do that like every single week. So I'm glad that I found something else that sort of serves the same purpose, works exactly the same, and I love it. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna, I think my next video is going to be how I pre-poo my hair now. And then the next thing is cassia, cassia, cassia glasses, cassia masks. I love cassia. I am never, ever going to replace cassia with anything else ever again in my life. So when I first started using Ayurveda very, very many years ago, this was, I was very new in my natural hair journey. I think I was probably like two years natural when I heard about henna, right? So I started using henna on my hair because then it was this thing that people said would strengthen your hair. So I had a few greys when I started. I mean, I have a lot of greys now. Like a majority of what's happening here is grey. But I just had like a few streaks of grey. So I loved how henna would, you know, transform the greys and make them this beautiful, you know, ginger copper colour. I loved it then. But then I sort of grew out of it. So I started to grow out the parts of my hair that were colored with henna. Because that's the thing. You have to grow out henna color. I don't think you can remove it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's a way. But I have not seen a way to properly remove henna from your hair. Because it stays and it is permanent. So then I found cassia. Which is a great substitute for henna. But it doesn't stay in your hair as much as henna does. Also, it doesn't really stain your hair. So because my hair is white, there's a chance that cassia can turn white hair like yellow and off yellow. But I found that even when my hair gets a little bit yellow, I can correct it with purple shampoo. So yeah, I definitely still use cassia. I need to stock up and get some more because I'm running out. But it's not something that I do often. I will do a cassia treatment, whether it's a gloss or a mask. I'll only do that like six to eight weeks, not more than that. Okay, and the last thing is bentonite clay. I think that's the last thing. Bentonite clay. I really, really, really want to try other clays. I like bentonite clay. I try not to use it all the time. Like I said, my staple is my African black soap shampoo. But every now and then, your hair needs a detox. I feel like I keep it relatively the same. Yeah, I just checked. And actually, I think I go a little bit overboard and I add way too many herbs. Now, like I said, life has gone back to being busy. So bentonite clay, a little bit of oil. You need apple cider vinegar to mix with the bentonite clay. And I feel like that is 
fine. Add some water or aloe vera juice and you're done, right? You don't need all of that stuff. That's what I do now. I try to keep things as simple as possible. The mark is mid-September. So the next time that I do a hair update, we'll know that it's from today. So this is my hair at the back. I don't really do length checks all that often, like ever, really. But I'm gonna try and be better at that now. Gosh, if you've made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.